What's going on everybody? My name is Kwaku and this is the Microsoft Kin 2. Now, the Kin 2 has some special reasons why I'm doing a video for it. And that's mainly because it is that device that failed so terribly. It got canceled in 2010. Um, Verizon canceled it because of low sales. And uh, it started off ironically as Project Pink uh, under the division executive Jay Allard from Microsoft. This series of phone right here lasted approximately 48 days. 48 days and this thing was canceled. It was quite insane that this thing got canceled within 48 days from Verizon. It says um, Verizon, Microsoft discontinued the Kin line on June 30th, 2010. And by mid July, 2010, Verizon had returned all of their unsold phones to Microsoft. The Kin's planned European release on UK carrier Vodafone was also canceled. And they said the Kin was a mistake from day one. And they also tried to bring it back in November with the Kin 1 and 2M devices, which kind of scrapped the whole Kin idea and just let you log in with how, have a, not have a data plan with it. Cause these required data plans for them. So Microsoft tried to dip their toes in there. Um, yeah, it was launched basically an event in mystery events in San Francisco, April 12, 2010. And the tagline said, it's time to share. And then just hours, it was confirmed that it was about Project Pink, which became the Kin. And uh, yeah, all the rest was history right there. This Kin 2, it's just like one of the uh, most failed phones in history. In fact, it's upside down. One of the most failed phones in history uh, releases its brethren, the Kin 1. It's a flip phone or it's a slider phone. It says, nice to meet you. I was in the music app testing it out. And uh, yeah, I like, I like the slide. I gotta say, I gotta say, I like this slide mechanism right here. Just like that. It says Windows phone right there. Verizon Sharp, the people who made it. Kin right there. It looks like it's got a flash. It looks like a Xenon flash or LED flash. Camera, uh, let's find the camera specs right on the computer here it says the camera specs it was a single 8 megapixel camera with 720p video um, it didn't have a selfie camera because that wasn't a thing at the time it had wi-fi bg bluetooth 2.1 a gps it had fm radio which actually still works and i actually will test it and show you guys it on this little bow speaker i have next to me um, it has stereo speakers which is pretty dope um, Micro USB, micro USB, which is just your usual, your old school Android type. It's got accelerometer, proximity sensors, and all that stuff. It lets you go on the internet, all that stuff. Um, and it's got a 13 90 milliamp hour battery. So yeah, and the price originally was about 330 euros. So the radio works. It sounds clear. It sounds really good actually. And you can scrub through and go through your regular, you know, your usual radio stations. 99.5 that's in the DC area here you can add station to your list so you can easily jump to it so it's got all your zoom functions in it your pause and also you can play the radio even from really anything you can just go back and you can see it's there swipe over you can see what's playing you can see your history there 99.5 I'm not really gonna go through everything just because like it it's just not good most of it here's the phone app the dialer app you go into the dialer app, wait for the splash screen right there. And then you have the numbers. And there you go. You can still call 911 with this, which is very funny. Like the emergency services still works with this. And then going deeper in, we got the settings. Go into settings just to see. For some reason, settings is the airplane logo. You have wireless controls, which is your Wi-Fi settings, your phone settings, your theme. Funny, interesting thing with this theme is that every time you switch the color, you have to restart the whole phone, which is very strange, but that's a thing you have to do. You got sound settings right here. So giving it to load, you can see sound, uh, vibrate, ringer, voicemail messages, system sounds going down deeper. You got your about of your phone. You have your date and time screen lock. Um, you got your location account sync. Account sync does not work. And then you got phone updates. I have yet to be able to see any phone update. It says cannot connect to the Kin service right now. And that's because the Kin service does not exist anymore to send again any updates from. That's why the Kin M came out, which got away with the Kin services altogether. And that's about it for these controls. It's it's pretty bare bones. And you got your app set up. You can set up your social networks, your browser, and so on like that. But yeah, that's about it. This 
it's an interesting phone. It didn't last long at all. It lasted, let's say, six months. Technically, it lasted like, I want to say like a month and a half, like this series. And then they tried to bring it back and it still failed. It's a phone that just didn't work. It didn't do well at all. The sidekick still did way better than it. You can already see that that's when Microsoft really wanted to be like the sidekick. I remember the OG sidekick. Those were the days back in those days. I never had one. I wish I did. Um, but maybe that'll come later in the future on the channel. But yeah, I just wanted to do a little thing different on the channel, just looking at retro tech. Um, I believe the next video that I'll do might actually be uh, based off of this here, uh, Microsoft Lumia right there, if I can zoom out. It might be based off of that. And then maybe later on, I'll dig into the Blackberry line of things, just kind of do some different things on the channel. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about the Ken 2. Did you have one? Did you love it? And if you loved it, please tell me why. Stay tuned for future videos on the channel. Who knows what I come up with next. My name is Kwaku and I'll catch you guys later.